Yeah, hello everybody, this is Jenkins Dota here, and uh, bringing you another Dota 2 video with my friend here, Sir Nusham Dota. Hello? Oh, that's a terrible intro. I don't know how to be alive anymore. Anyway, in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about position 4s that uh, are good. This is a position 4 tier list, and I'm going to let Nusham do most of the talking, because he's a position 4 player, and he got really mad when he saw my tier list, and he made me change it to this one. So this is basically his. Um, I'll just read off the heroes, and you can you can basically just tell me why they're good. Rubik, okay. Tiny, Wind Ranger, Phoenix, S tier. All right, so Rubik, I just think the same reasons as before. He's just a really stable hero pick right now. Uh, roaming is a bit better in this patch, so he's not that great at doing that, but he is really good at winning his lane, and in the mid game, if you're you know, some Yapsor or something, and you're really good at stealing spells. He's just amazing. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain. He just does stuff that other heroes can't, just because of spell steal. But uh, with that said, you do have to have good spells to steal, which most games you will in this meta. Everyone who's picked right now, you know, the Void Spirits and all that stuff, just very good, especially Sand King and Mars, all the offlaners. That's my argument for you, uh, Rubik. Hey, basically just does every other hero better than they do themselves. Yeah. Basically, that's, yeah. That's the uh, that's the old. The and then old, you win your lane. Yeah, the El Classico with Rubik and the percentage damage reduction is kind of cool too because it makes it so that you counter Terra Blades and stuff. Which there's a lot of those illusion guys being picked. Okay, what about this guy? Uh, Tiny is just one of the best roamers right now in general. I don't know what exactly happened. I guess it's the change to Avalanche again, it being faster projectile. But he is, I don't know. He feels broken. That's for sure. No. Uh, Toss is just it's like a better Pudge. It's reliable, unlike Pudge, and <laughs> oh. killing people in the mid lane especially. Oh, don't do my boy like that. Don't. Yeah. Well, the best part about Tiny is you just bounce between one side lane and mid usually. Like if your off lane isn't that great, you can't kill or off lane. You just kind of walk to the safe lane, and usually someone will get some sort of impact from you walking between two lanes, constantly throwing people around and stunning them. Yeah, he, he does fall off a bit, but man. In the early game, if they don't have cloaks and stuff, and you can just combo people, you will blow people up. I was gonna say so hard. Like, do you really fall off when you can kind of like one-hit supports and even if well, you can't, you still you toss know, you people have, like, out. Right, and you have a stun. So even if you aren't playing well or you're not popping off, you still are used. You know, you're useful. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's uh really he's avalanche and toss. <laughs> that's that's about yeah. it. That's that's tiny, but uh, he does good stuff with those. All right, sell me on this one because I feel like she pops off a lot of the time because it's pubs and people get Monkey King bars and people just play her like a core. Well, here's my argument. I think people figured out that Meter Hammer isn't just a train protector item. You already saw it on Phoenix and people start to figure out on Windrunner as well. And basically, you don't have to always commit to this like MKB, Yapsor, you know, you're basically the offlaner type deal. Which is good, right? You know, you don't want to always have to rely on you popping off because sometimes the enemy just doesn't let you kill them or whatever. Yeah. But I do think Power Shot is straight up busted. The amount of damage it does is... I, I, it's just way too much, especially with the talent. Basically, people realize trying to tunnel vision on this like idea that you're going to get MKB and get attack range isn't always the play. Especially if you have like a hyper carry who doesn't really need you to also carry. And you have like maybe even a mid who can kind of fill that role. Like some spirit. Right, right. And then you can just go like the Shackle and Power Range talents, or sorry, Power Shot. Sure. And then uh, you just go like Meteor Hammer, Blink. You can get a Yules even. I've seen that. Just basically the same items every four builds Blink, Yules. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, you can go like Solar Crest even too. And she's really strong. I've been playing her a lot. And I don't know. This is a really heavy four protect one meta. And when your carry is just getting dumpstered by a Windrunner, yeah, it sure. feels real bad. I get okay. That makes sense. So like the the fact that she can actually go like a bunch of different builds right now, depending on the game. Like right, she has right. a build to go to when she's popping off to win, and then she has a build to go when it's like a normal game to still have a big impact. Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix is just pretty busted right now. You can play him in almost every role. Uh, yeah. There's not really much else to say about him. I think his group fighting is crazy. Uh, he shoves out waves like crazy because all of his spells just do a ton of damage and they're yeah. all AOE. Yeah. Sunray is, uh, I don't know. It's a very unique ability. It does Dude. like you know, 
healing and, t- and does damage, so yep. you can sustain pushes. Uh, he's very, very good with Faceless Void, and a lot of the group fighters right now, that stun stuff, so that's my argument for him being, yeah. Yeah, Supernova being n- harder to kill at level 1 helps his early game, and then Phoenix Light game has always been just insane. Like, it's always been yeah. impossible and to kill And then people the figured out this, like, uh, Meteor Hammer build to kind of make up for the lack of damage Fire Spirits has now, now that they've nerfed it, you know, like, four patches in a row or something. Yeah. So basically, you have like two things to play off of. It's like you can meter hammer waves, and then the next wave you can fire spirit it, and then you can spend all four, and then you don't have to worry about the next wave. Whereas before, you could spend two fire spirits and kill the entire wave, basically. Right. You know what I was thinking about, like the whole meteor hammer thing on a lot of these heroes is that let's say you go like meteor hammer Bane or meteor hammer Phoenix, you have these long cooldown ultimates that you're relying on, right? But if you have a meteor hammer, you can still show up to a fight and contribute in right, some right. meaningful way without the ultimate it almost gives you like the ability to do stuff when you're not when you don't have the ulti whereas like b- before if you if you don't if you go for that build and then some aura you're basically or adding in a fourth spell right yeah exactly it's not an ultimate exactly and uh so like if you do a dive meteor hammer and you actually hit somebody and you get a sunray off on them with s- some fire spirits like they'll legit die to you yeah it's even like chorus it's crazy it's a lot of, yeah percentage damage is uh is a real uh kicker um, okay, so A tier, we have Earth Spirit, Elder Titan, Mirana. I definitely... uh, Earth Spirit is amazing. I just think he's a little unreliable. That's the only reason why I didn't put him in S tier. There are games where, like, I don't know, these heroes kind of fell off, but, you know, like Underlords or Dragon Knight, even Doom. People that like, just don't die heroes. to you when you rotate. Right, it feels pretty awful to roll on them, and they potentially just turn around and stun you, and then you look really dumb. But when he's good... And he's good in most games, in my opinion, especially like against spirit heroes and caster backlines like Rubik. He counters Rubik super hard because if he steals any of your spells, literally any of them, he does not get your remnants. So he has to play off of your remnants, which there's just not going to be many to play around. And yeah, yeah, he destroys like Oracle, all those defensive heroes, spirits, his brothers, yep, which yep. are which are the mid laners that people are picking. All of them. He's very similar to Tiny. You just kind of bounce back and forth between mid lane and a side lane. Usually you want to, like, try to make an appearance in your safe lane at some point, because it'll be easy kills if you just roll onto anyone, but yeah. Definitely one of the best, like, TP rotators, too, which I think for playing fast right now is really good. I I saw Crit was doing that, where he would show in a lane and then, like, walk into trees and then immediately TP bid and just roll on somebody from trees. And it's like, it's too little time to react to it. And then it just puts that fear of God into people where it's like if this guy's missing like for pudge, a like second a good pudge except for yes, pudge sucks so, pudge yeah. is terrible it's like if if this guy's missing for a second he could be here all right et is this uh, actually ET, a thing outside of competitive uh i was about to say i actually don't think he's that great in pubs just simply because he kind of falls into the same trap that earth spirit does where he's pretty squishy and if you overcommit, you just die but unlike earth spirit who can roll away every four seconds et you're kind of just committed in so when he's good, honestly, he's very good. Like, especially versus a lot of these hyper carries who rely a lot on armor, just the, the natural armor they get from agility, like TB and Morphling. I've seen a lot of people get flamed because you walk in and they die in like three seconds and they don't expect it. And then their team's just like, what are you doing? But honestly, it's not really their fault. It's the ET just being a very good counter. Yeah. But with that said, I think in competitive, he is like S tier. In pubs, I would say he may even be like B tier, honestly. But if you know what you're doing, he's definitely like a solid pick. Right, like right. Solid A. With ET, it's always like if you're an ET player and it's good, like you can cheese people with it where they just they don't know what's going like like you were saying, like they'll just die. The people will just die to you. People will walk up to you and get hit in lane for two hundred damage, and then you just run them down under their tower and they're like, How is this guy killing me right now? Right. And he's one of the best group fighters in the game since forever, and group fighting right now is very popular, so Yeah. Uh, okay, Marana. Uh Marana she looks really good in games, but I feel like she's just kind of a worse wind runner. Like I've even seen people go like this weird meteor hammer. Only like no no no, they go like two points in the other stuff, and then they'll go like max leap and go MKB. Huh. And they play her very similar to a wind runner. I have seen, seen like, that. Or do that. I have seen that. It's actually. not that great though. It just looks. I don't. I don't know. I feel like the best way to play Marana right now is you just focus on winning your lanes. You make an appearance mid a few times. Maybe secure some ruins. Throw an arrow or two. And then you just go like some greaves and you try to make Marana feel a little bit more reliable because I don't know if you're relying on hitting an arrow every time, it's not going to happen every game. Like sure, some games you'll pop off and it'll look amazing, 
but she's not going to have that consistent impact that like say i don't know rubik might have or phoenix i like the yule's meteor hammer build on her i feel like that's a that's a really fun one like the yules and the yules just generally is like you can yule somebody leap away and then hit like a long duration arrow on somebody like it makes that makes that ability reliable like depending on the game it depends what you need like if you need some guy to be a stunner then marana can actually do that with some items and i feel like she's strong enough in the early game and at like securing bounties with like moonlight shadow for example that like you will get say one thing though marana does go up a lot in value when you have heroes like mars or sand king on your team but you know you can't always control what your offlaner picks unless you're playing with friends in which case you know go for it because they can set up for arrow right 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 makes makes you reliable i feel the same about pudge even though he's terrible but like if there's heroes that can set up for pudge hook like bane ember spirit stuff like that yeah, it actually makes the hero playable. it's right? way easier to play yeah b tier lena clockwork Earthshaker. so let me t- i'm gonna take a stab at this Earthshaker. i feel like Earthshaker is just always good he's a stunner he's a team fighter arguably the best group fighter in the game depending on you know the type of echo slam that you hit it's got an insanely high skill cap to it and it's instant lockdown, which is really nice too. But his laning kind of sucks, and he he's countered by a lot of heroes. Like Rubik is super popular, right. Clockwork is popular. If you look at all the other heroes I put in, right, their laning is very good. Whereas Earthshaker, it's a question mark. Where sometimes you don't have people who actually utilize Fissure, or you're like playing to cut creeps, and you're like playing so that your offlaner can have a game. But if you look at the other heroes, they're going to make your offlaner have a good game. Yeah, they win the lane as opposed to 50-50-ing the lane. Right, trying to salvage it and cutting creeps and stuff. Earthshaker is always a salvage hero. Right, that's the only real argument for why he's not that great. But stuns are always amazing, so he still does have a place, and he can roam really hard on a lot of heroes who can't get away from him. SF, for example. you know, yeah. Co-op, mobility heroes, all the spirits are really popular right now, so that's why he's just a little bit lower. Just not as reliable. Uh, Clockwork... I feel like he was just broken in the previous patches and um, just the nerfs are, are hurting him. Like Rocket Flare duration has been reduced twice yeah, now. Yeah, I think it actually is that simple. I still think he's pretty good. He's like a standard pick, I guess you could use that word or something. But he's just, I don't know, he doesn't really pop off. I think the four role right now has kind of transformed into this like all-star role where, you know, you have like your Yapsors and stuff and, you know, RIP Jerax, but that's what i would imagine is like some jerax you know some guy popping off with her spear and whatnot but yeah work is just he's just not a hero to really pop off maybe you're killing supports but that's it you know what i mean that's it's, your cap it, I, I say the same thing about pudge where it's like you can get 20 kills on that hero and it'll make him viable it won't make him like solo carry the game whereas right. a lot of other a lot of other heroes like will carry the game with a lot of kills but clockwork doesn't really he just becomes tanky. But you're never like, oh, we fed the clockwork too many items. Like, just ignore him. What is he going to do? I see him Kill as you? like a centaur offlane. You're not sad you have a clockwork as a four, but you're not feeling that great in game. He's not going to like hard carry you by any no. means. Like, there's no amount of farm he can, kills he can get where he'll actually hard carry you. Whereas if you give Windrunner too many kills, she'll get an MKB and literally kill your carry solo. Um, okay, Lena. Uh, Lena is basically Windrunner and Marana just crappier version yeah just crappier version but you're very all in on winning your lane and then the mid game you're not that great but i think if you win your lane you're doing a good job she is really good at doing that so yeah she's kind of like bottom like i said if you pair with like sand king and stuff you can stomp your lane so hard that you can actually just win the game and snowball but you know bottom's gonna go greaves and stuff which not to say you can't go greaves on lena but like everyone kind of goes this like aether yules blink type thing because it's very similar to rubik where if you get jumped you're just you're just dead either way you have to go in to do stuff you can't just like stand around and do nothing so you're kind of forced to play this way which like i said she's decent at doing it but uh i don't know i think the other heroes just do it better um okay c tier d tier we'll kind of cover these because they're quickly because most of them are pretty bad usually when you get to this tier but uh tusk bounty hunter snapfire nyx pango doom willow void spirit Skyrath, uh, you were saying you don't like Tusk, right? Yeah, I think a lot of four players like Tusk just because he's always popping in and out of the meta. I, I don't know, you can style on people and stuff. So like I said earlier with like Jerax and whatnot, those people like to pop off and style on people. He's pretty good at doing that, but uh, he's just not that reliable. Some games you think it's good and then you're in the game and randomly you're just like feeding or not having that great of impact. Good medallion builder though. The, the one punch man yeah, build yeah. is pretty funny. If you're snowballing, he's amazing for sure. 
My take on Bounty Hunter is that, like, he's very feast or famine. He either looks extremely good because you're winning fights and track looks amazing and he gets farm, or he's completely useless and basically just a moving ward. Yeah, I think he's going up and down right now. People don't really know what to do with him. I think he fell off entirely, and now people are trying to figure out if he can be played as a four or what's going on with him. And I don't know. He does give a lot of information, and he's pretty annoying. You have to, you know, play sentries, and there's only ten now, so... I actually want to remove Snapfire from this list because I feel like she's just a five. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, I put her there because people like playing her. But, you know, as long as you people can see that, that's enough. Yeah. Um, Nyx, good with Meteor Hammer, which people yeah. are building on a lot of heroes right now. He, He's he's on the come up a bit. I mean, the main reason I put him in here in specialty is that is the word that stood out to me is like when he's good he's definitely very good like against puck or something but like a lot of these heroes right now i don't know you know you just have an earth spirit so yeah yeah i feel that earth spirit will definitely carry games a lot harder once again going back to like will a popping off next really carry you no will an earth spirit yes he'll single-handedly win team fights for you same with et he'll get a he'll get an agonims and he'll have bkb and hit for 300 in every fight funny enough i think the next hero pango is like the polar opposite there's games where you actually see this guy almost solo carry games, like some Luki Luki. Yeah. But then there's times where you're rolling into walls or getting stunned or ruptured, and it just looks so Or you just bad. you lose the lane horribly because he's such a terrible yeah, laner. Yeah, he's so bad at laning. Yeah, yeah. but Feast or Famine, like BH, in the same tier. Doom, his stock is just falling a lot, I think. he Yes, all around. He needs a lot of levels to do the things that I he used say, to do before. I will say, I think he looks better, actually, as a four than anything than, else. Than an offlaner. Right I, I like yeah. Doom. I think as a mid, he still would look pretty good. And I think as a four, he would still look pretty good. But I think as an offlaner, he looks kind of terrible. Yeah, I agree. Because he needs too many levels to do what you would want a core to do. But as a support, the stuff that his early level spells do is fine, if that makes sense. Yeah, what I think about Doom as a support, it's like he dooms someone and it doesn't feel that bad that that's all he's doing. Whereas a core, it's like, you're he just need, dooming someone. You need it. to do a lot more than just that. Right, yeah. right. Think about Sand Kings, constantly in and out, stunning people and group wiping, and then Doom is just like, I pressed my button. Yep. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Willow, I actually think this hero is really good. I you, you, did not, yeah. you did not rate this hero highly. I had her in like A tier. I just think she has pretty underwhelming performances on average. But if you do put her in the right hands, like some guy on Liquid or something, Taika then maybe this hero goes up in value. Yeah. But I don't know. She's just such a hard hero to really Dude, she does a she lot. Is. She does a lot of damage in the late game she now. Does, with this, she does. With this Bedlam damage, like, she's a, she's a she real carry. She does fit carry. that niche, for sure. Like I was saying, if you can pop off with her, for sure. But I she's, do put her lower because she is harder to pop off with. She's super heroes. high skill. She's, Very like, one of the yes. most high skill fours where, like, you have to be a Willow player. You right, right. And that's why she's in here. It's not like I'm saying to never pick her, but she's definitely, like... Pick her with caution, but if you're capable of doing it, then absolutely feel free to pick Willow. She's very good. Void Spirit. I think Void Spirit. literally the same thing as Willow, to be honest. I was going to say with Void Spirit, I think he's just a, a great hero. Like, I think just he yeah, has yeah. stuns, disables, things that he puts on the ground that give vision, uh, mobility, shield. He's hard to kill. He's great at picking. Like, I think he just does a little bit of everything. He's a, he's a Mario, you know? My only problem with Void Spirit is... If you miss your spells, he sucks. Literally, you'll do nothing if you miss all your spells. And then, I just think he's a better mid. He needs levels quick, in my opinion. Yeah, he can definitely pop off. He can definitely pop off way more as a mid and uh, yeah. do the things that you want him to do. But still decent, still fine. Like, if you ever, if you pair him with, like, a really strong laner, you're a great Void Spirit. It'll work. Um, Skywrath, I think I think this is similar to, like, the Pango, where if you're a Sky player, it'll, it'll work for you. Yeah, you have to, like, really snowball the lanes, because that's his strongest suit in my opinion and then once you win a lane really hard honestly you have the capabilities of just running around and being such a nuisance you can actually like solo carry a game if yep. you are able to like bounce in and out and without getting jumped you have full to zero people with right but he's like Mystic lena Flair. or rubik where you are really squishy so if you get jumped like especially if reverse stuns he's very hard to play like sand kings and stuff dude but if you're reverse like pa and he can't or sorry she can't like jump onto you or anything then you actually have the capabilities of like just sitting on the outskirts of fights and blowing people up one yep. by one good with combos too like good with the stunners legion sand king faceless yeah. void axe yeah yeah um i think sky's on the come up like he needs some more I buffs because I, I think sure. i think the hero just like hasn't got the insane buffs that a lot of other heroes have i think his buffs have been all pretty minor and 
not so generous. I think just one good talent would honestly change him entirely. Yes, yeah, yeah. Just very generic talents. These are very bad. Uh, the, the, the level 10 talent, at least, is is terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so D tier, we have Lion, Spirit Breaker, Enigma, Shadow Demon, Shadow Shaman, Pugna, Treant Protector, Grimstroke, uh, Lion. I, think I can summarize this entire line in okay. one phrase, to be honest. Sure. I just think they're better in other roles. A lot of them are just better as fives, or maybe they're okay as some sort of three or two or something, like maybe Pugna, but most of them are just better as fives. I don't know. They don't scale that well with farm. And in this meta, they're just not that great right now as a four. Yeah. I think Lion is the single best. If you really want to feed and be completely useless and disappoint your team, then this is the probably the hero to do it. It's like Vengeful Spirit and Lion. I They're agree. the greatest feeder heroes in the game where you walk in, hex somebody, stun the ground, missing everybody, and then you die. Like, if you oh, really you know, want to grief your here. team, you think CM's a four? I don't think she's a four, though. I was going to say, I do think she's in the same tier as like D. I, I think you could play her as a five. I've seen like Febby do it, but it's just, it's a five. I don't know. I, yeah. There's no other way around. So, it. okay, let's go through and pick the five. So Line, probably a five. Shadow Demon 5, Shadow Shaman 5, Pugna 5, Trim Protector 5, Grimstruck 5, Crystal Maiden 5. So that leaves Enigma and Spirit Breaker. Yep. Spirit Breaker, he's just not that great right now. He's his laning, good his laning sucks. His laning is his terrible. Laning, right. His laning sucks and his damage output is just not high enough. If you think about everyone else in this tier list so far, that's the main thing they all share is they have a lot of damage they can output. But Spirit Breaker, you're just like, I hope I bash them. Like, I feel okay. like a lot of heroes can play fast now though it's like there's a wind ranger wind right, running right. around tiny with a blink and outpost to tp2 like every i feel like the fact that this guy can globally charge is not the most impressive thing anymore it's unless you're cool, no. literally in a competitive environment we're that, playing honestly if they gave him a way for his charge to not get canceled by so many things then he would actually be much better but there's so many weird like tiny roots or even like Mars W. Dude, gust Stop and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Any okay. movement ability because it's considered moving. I know. Give him something, you know? Possibly and uh, Enigma. Oh, man. I feel like it's either an Enigma patch or it isn't. You know? It's like the yeah. hero's either extremely good in like the best hero or just mediocre. Well, the thing about Force too is when they're a greedy hero like Enigma or even like a Magnus, I don't know. They're just very risky picks because if you aren't solo winning your team for fights outside of that what do you really offer enigma's like you throw eidolons down lanes cool i guess tons of but heroes just, have right, ways of you doing just, that of clearing waves right you know lena can just nuke it out or your spirit even so it's really not that great yeah yeah i feel you i feel you enigma when it's a good game and you can hold people it looks great and it's cool but uh yeah not all that reliable um anyway uh dog tier or the dog poo tier we have pudge sniper and techies i thought sniper was dead already but apparently some guy proved me wrong the other day like just yesterday some guy picked four sniper like rank 800 and i was very upset so please stop doing did that. did we lose that game <laughs> we lost yes we did lose owning that. very hard we did yeah. lose yes 40 yeah. percent win rate this yeah, ability it sucks it's very bad it's so bad now these abilities are also bad they've all been nerfed he does no damage he sucks all right he's uh, just terrible punch <laughs> i actually think Pudge and Techies. I think in the right hands, they can be okay. And I don't think they're great, but I think they're okay. They're like as good as Lion or something. Oh, that's like, rough. Yeah, that's, if you're playing <laughs> really good. That's like, rough. Really, really, really good. Here, let me just go ahead and click to this game and uh, show you guys. So 16 and 8. Okay, look at the score. 12 and 4. 12 and 3 at 22 minutes. Look at the graph. Go ahead and check out this graph and see that the entire game we had a gold lead. Literally the, the entire are game. Pudge to have fun or to play around with their uh, what's it called persona. That's it. Let's I had fun honest. this game until we lost, and then I was thinking, wow, I lost this game. Literally with a gold lead, I'm never picking this hero again because if you're in any game with any other four and you have a gold lead, you can't lose. Yeah. It's uh, it, it's not it's impossible. You have some MKB and you're solo killing people. I couldn't do anything on Pudge because he sucks. Funny enough, I think Techies is actually good right now if you're good at it, especially, but I actually think it's a 5. I've seen a lot of people playing it as a 5 in NA and C, and they're making it look very, very annoying. Yeah. You just kind of go take camp farm from people, like you run into the enemy jungle and you just blow up their camps, and then you leave mines there, so when they go to kill it later, they die. It's weird, but it works. I mean, I don't know. 
I hate techies. I, he's like a <laughs> Mario Party minigame. It's bad, guy. guys. Nobody pick techies. It's terrible. Please. Yeah. Please don't pick techies in our pubs. Oh, God. All right. That's, that's it. No other heroes. That's all the fours. Let us know if you agree or disagree, or if Nusham should get his mic out of the toilet next time we record. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you and hope to see you in another video.